President Rodrigo Duterte created an anti-graph commission that would investigate presidential appointees, including those outside the executive branch of the government. Duterte signed Executive Order No. 43 on October 4, 2017, providing for the formation of the five-person Presidential Anti-Graph Commission, six days after he accused Ombudsman Conchita Morales of selective justice and Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno of corruption. Duterte recently warned that he would form a commission to investigate the officials of the Office of the Ombudsman, a constitutional body, in the wake of the anti-graph body's own probe on the alleged hidden wealth of the president and his family. He has accused Morales and Sereno as being part of a conspiracy, including the political opposition, to oust him from the presidency. He has also challenged both to join him in resigning from office. Both have rejected his calls for resignation. Early this week, two separate complaints were filed before the office of the executive secretary against overall deputy ombudsman Arthur H. Carandang, the head of the fact-finding team investigating Duterte. Deputy Ombudsman for Mindanao, Rodolfo M. Elman, and members of the investigation team allegedly for betrayal of public trust and graft and corruption. The commission shall be composed of a chairman and four commissioners to be appointed by the president. Majority of the members of the commission shall be from the President Philippine Bar and must have been engaged in the practice of law in the Philippines for at least five years. In a text message to reporters, Executive Secretary Salvador Mijaldea said the president will not usurp the power to discipline certain independent constitutional officers, such as the ombudsman and judicial officials. He said findings of the probe on officials outside the executive branch will be submitted to the proper disciplining authority. He cited, for instance, the Congress, which could act to impeach impeachable officials. The House is now hearing an impeachment complaint against Chief Justice Sereno and is expected to craft the articles of impeachment for submission to the entire body as soon it wraps hearings at the committee level.